Hi there and welcome to Mr. Arnold's Maths. In this video we're going to look at multiplying by a decimal. So we're going to take whole numbers and then multiply them by decimal numbers. Uh, hopefully you've looked at my video on uh, the grid method of long multiplication uh, because this method is very, very similar. So I'm going to start like before with my grid and I'm going to put my multiplication sign up here. I'm going to take the 68 and break that down into 60 and 8. And the 0 0.6, well, multiplying by decimals is quite difficult. So I'm just going to multiply it by 6 first. And hopefully you'll see how this works out for us in the end. So I'm going to do 6 times 6 gives me 36. And we got that extra 0 there. We do 6 times 8 is 48. And like before, we're going to add these numbers together. So I'm going to do 360, and I'm going to add 48 to it. So 360 plus 48, 0 and 8 is 8. 6 and 4 is 10. So put down the 0, carry the 1. 1 and 3 is 4. Now, we're not quite done just yet. Now we're going to return to our question. And we count the number of decimal places that were in my question. In this question, we had one decimal place. I'm going to highlight it here. We had one decimal place, which means that my answer must have one decimal place also. And we always count from right to left. So counting in this direction here, in this direction here, count the number of decimal places, one. So I'm going to put my decimal point there. And 360, or sorry, 68 multiplied by 0 0.6 is 40.8. Check it with a calculator if you like. Okay, let's look at exam example 2. We've got 27 multiplied by 0 0.58. And once again, we're going to set it out using a grid method. Very, very similar to long multiplication. So I'm going to split the 27 into 20 and 7 and split the... 0 0.58, well, I don't like multiplying by 0 0.58, so it's a lot easier to multiply by 58 first. So I'm going to split that into 50 and 8. So let's do our multiplication now. So I do 5 times 2 is 10, and then we got two zeros. So add those on. Again, that's explained. Why I'm adding those zeros on is explained in the video on long multiplication. Uh, 5 times 7 is 35 and add on that other zero. And then do eight times two is 16, adding that other zero to account for the 20. And then eight times seven is 56. So take all four numbers in green and add them all up. So we're gonna do 1000, I'm gonna add 350, I'm gonna add 160, and I'm gonna add 56. So adding these numbers, 0, 0, 0, and 6 gives us 6. 0 and 5 is 5. 5 and 6 is 11. 11 and 5 is 16. So put down the 6, carry the 1. 1 and 0 is 1. And 3 gives me 4. And 1 gives me 5. So put down the 5. And then we still have that 1 there. Almost done now. So Again, count the number of decimal places that were in the question. In this case, we had two decimal places, the 5 and the 8. Two decimal places, 1, 2. So my answer must have two decimal places. And again, counting from right to left, 1, 2, and boom. That's where we put our decimal place. So 27 multiplied by 0 0.58 is 15.66. Okay. There's a number of questions here for you guys to try, so give them a go now. Uh, pause the video, have a crack at them. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at those questions, and I'll bring up the solutions now. So there you have it. You can mark your work, see how you did. If you didn't manage to get it, have a look over the examples again. That's all for now. Um, I'll talk to you again sometime. Take it easy.